In this demonstration, we want to test whether the proportion of smokers in our data file is equivalent to the proportion of smokers reported from another study. This other study reported that 20% of its respondents were smokers. So, in order to compare the proportion of smokers in our study to the proportion of smokers in the other study, we first go up to analyze the bounded non parametric test and then chi square. In step two, we select the categorical variable of interest and move it into the test variable list box. So in this case, it's smoke. Okay? Step three, we go down to expected values. And because we're comparing it to another study that indicated that the proportion of smokers was 20%, we click on values. And since our first value is yes, meaning smoker, and that corresponds with 20%, then we put 0 0.20 in this box. We click add, and for the remaining value, we type in 0.8, and we click add. Now, the first value always correspond to the first value in your data file. So if the first value is a 1, this number corresponds with 1. If the second value is a 2, it corresponds to 2. If you have a third value, which is 3, then that corresponds to the third value. The number that we go here would be associated with the 3. Now, if all of your categories proportions were expected to be equal, then you would select all categories equal, meaning that if our two smoker groups, one means smoker, two means non-smoker, if we expected them both to be 50%, then we would select all categories equal. Additionally, if we had a category or a variable that had four categories and we expected them to be all equal, then each category, each of the four groups, would be 25%. And we would just highlight all categories. Okay, but in this case, we have two categories. And the comparison we're making with another study that said that 20% were smokers, 0 0.20, and conversely, 80% have to be non smokers. Now remember, these values in this box always have to add up to 1. No matter how many categories you have, they always have to add up to 1. Okay? So finally, we click OK, and we come to our output window. In the first table, you have observed and expected frequency. The observed frequency is the actual number of cases in your data file. So there are 85 respondents who say they smoke, and there are 351 respondents who say they do not smoke. Okay? The expected frequency is the number of cases that should be in each group based on the proportions that we specified in SDSS previously. So based on the 20% proportion that we put into SDSS, are expected in for this cell, or the expected number of smokers should be 87.2, and the expected number of non-smoker smokers should be 34.8. Now let's look at the second table. The test statistics table indicates whether there is a significant difference between the observed and the expected frequency. In this table, we see that the value for chi-square is 0.069. We see that the degrees of freedom is 1. And we see that the significant level of the chi-square value is 0.792. Because the significance level of the chi-square value is greater than 0.05, this indicates that there is not a significant difference between the observed and expected proportions. Now you 
know how to perform these high-score tests. 